What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I wanna to share with you one of my best real estate investments that I made this year in Hamilton, Ontario. I took a little bit of a gamble, but it was worth it. Schools shut down earlier this year. So student rental properties were sitting on the market, which in this time right now is not happening. Properties in Ontario are flying off the shelf. 30, 40 offers per house, it's ridiculous, the market is crazy. So if you know where to capitalize and where to put your money, you can actually have a huge return, but you just gotta do the right thing. So when the schools shut down, I saw that student rentals were sitting on the market and I saw an opportunity here to capitalize. And the reason why they were sitting on the market was because the schools were shut down, so investors were nervous about getting them rented for the May student rental season. So what I did was I went and looked at student rentals. I saw one that was listed for $699 and I purchased it for $685,000. I was able to get it for $15,000 under asking. Now, this house is a eight bedroom, two unit house. Both units have four bedrooms in it two bathrooms in each unit, and two kitchens. So it's a perfect student rental, and to be honest with you, I was in my mind thinking, if I can't get it rented to students come the May season, then I'll rent each unit out to a single family or a couple or something like this. And what I was also thinking was, if students don't go back to school in May, then you know this can't last forever. So I know eventually they are going to go back, but in the top of my mind, I knew that when school did go back in place and they announced that it was reopening again, the housing market in that area would skyrocket again. It would go back up just like condos. I know there was a time this year where condos in Toronto, they dropped down really low because people were nervous of living in them with the whole social distancing thing. And if you bought one during that time, you're likely in the same situation where you made a lot of money. So the student rental that I purchased I ended up buying this property and I did some minor renovations. I put about $30,000 into it. So this deal here, I ended up scoring for a 90-10 loan to value, which means I got a loan for this property up to 90% and I only had to put 10% down. So my down payment requirement really wasn't that much. And now this property is sitting at $4,800 a month in rent and it's cash flowing $1,100. School is back open and this property is now worth just above $800,000. So not only did the value of the house go up by $115,000, I have $1,100 a month in cash flow and the students are also paying rent, so there's equity going into the house. And when you're real estate investing, that's exactly what you want. You want cash flow, you want the equity, that they're paying into the house, so you're not paying the mortgage or the expenses, and you also want the appreciation of the asset. So all of those things that keep on rising are making you money. Now, I haven't even owned this property for a year yet, so I'm still debating on what I'm gonna do. I might refinance this property and pull my money back out so it's like I got a free property and I can do it again, or I might just sell this property cash out on my investment and buy another one because I do have some bigger plans for next year. But you have to pay attention to the markets. That's the most important thing. When you're investing in real estate, you gotta see what's going on, how long properties are staying on the market. You need to see all of that stuff. Now I'm also a licensed real estate agent. I help a lot of investors with their real estate investments. So I'm constantly searching for them and I'm constantly searching for myself. I love helping people find deals. So if you're looking for a deal in Hamilton, Ontario or the surrounding area, just shoot me a text, send me an email or give me a call. I would be happy to help you guys get started. Now, I like student rentals. I think they're great for cash flow. I think they're amazing properties. You just have to know what you're looking at and you have to know how to vet the tenants. Now, I highly recommend if you're gonna get a student rental, do it near a university because there's students that are always in school. Now, one pro tip for you when you're buying a student rental, never buy a student rental that has a massive living room. Always a good living room, an okay, good is good enough, 
Don't get one that's too big because trust me, on Friday and Saturday night, your student rental is the party spot because it has a really big living room and all the students are gonna flock over there to party. And then you're gonna end up with a damaged property which you don't want. Now you also wanna rent it to students that are setting themselves up for a high academic career. And the reason why I say this is because they're not there to party, they're there to study. And that is what you want. You wanna leave your property in great condition. You don't want damages, you don't want issues. Now of course, you can always push that stuff back to the tenants, but the truth is, I'd rather avoid that. I don't like headaches. And the other positive thing about student rentals is the parents actually pay the rent. So I've never had late payments. My payments are always on time. I have great students in this property. They're all focused on engineering. Great people, very nice. I met their parents, I met their family when they came to do the visit and I just knew that they were perfect for the property. So if you're looking for a student rental, you wanna capitalize on a good deal. You wanna make sure that it has a lot of bedrooms as well so that you can make sure that you get higher rents, preferably, most of your bedrooms above ground. You don't want a lot of basement bedrooms. They're a lot harder to rent. In this property that I have here, there's eight bedrooms and only two of them are downstairs. The other six are upstairs. And they're all actually really big bedrooms, which is another thing that you wanna look for. Good sized bedrooms. Don't get one with small bedrooms. It's harder to rent out. Students want a big bedroom because the truth is they spend most of their time there studying and hanging out. So they wanna have a good space to live in everything else in the house they share. So I highly recommend getting a student rental if you want cash flow. I think it's also great for beginner investors. Right now, it's a little bit harder to find property flips. We are still finding them. Multifamily properties, we're still finding those as well, but there is a lot more competition in those, so you have to know what you're doing there as well. But with the student rentals, there's not as much competition and the reason for that is because they're a little bit harder to finance. Typically, most of the time, it's 20 to 25% down, which I still highly recommend. If you can do it, do it. Get a partner, do a joint venture deal, do something like that, because you're gonna get a lot of cash flow. Like I said, the value is going up. I'm a firm believer in Hamilton, Ontario, then near McMaster. All of those student rentals are gonna be around a million dollars within the next year. The market doesn't stop, and even in January, they're talking about another 9% increase in value for next year, which is crazy, which is why I don't think I wanna sell this property because I do think in the next year, again, it's gonna skyrocket. So this was one of my best real estate investments that I made this year. I'm super happy about it. I wanted to share it with you guys. And if you are looking to acquire a student rental or you're interested in it, Again, give me a call, shoot me an email, or send me a text. I will be happy to help you guys purchase one. I'll show you every step of the way what you should and shouldn't do, and we'll get you guys some cash flow and a great real estate investment. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.